What's up, everyone? Happy Thursday. Good morning. I got a nice sunshine day. Blue skies. I don't know, 35 degrees ish, something like that. 36 degrees. It's like summer. It's amazing, right? Before riding out in the cold, I used to think 30s was cold. Now it's uh, it's the teens I hide from. But uh, yeah, it really sunshine out on a 30 something degree day, no wind, and it really feels like summer. I'm like overdressed, I'm breaking a sweat here. And um, i got to give you the message of the day. So uh, on my ride over here, I was listening to my buddy Pedro's podcast, Chronicles of the Modern Beast. And he was interviewing my other buddy, uh, Chris Whitehead, and uh, spitting out some fire there. Go check out that podcast, Chronicles of the Modern Beast, Pedro Manessas. Um I can share it if uh, you're interested in good stuff. And they were having a conversation. Um about what you're allowing in your life. Um, and uh, Chris talked about uh, they were in Cabo and another friend of ours, Druby, uh, his wife was going shopping. And they said, when you're going to buy something, it's either hell yes or hell no. Don't settle. And I kind of thought that really just rang out. And they further dived into it. What are you allowing in your life? And um, are you allowing mediocre? You know, um, what are you allowing... That's not hell yes in your life. It's either hell yes or hell no. Get rid of the mediocre. Get rid of good enough. Get rid of um, that, oh, we'll just, uh, you know, we'll get through today and we'll worry about it tomorrow. Um, that good enough thinking uh, really, really limits you. Really limits you. Um, if you're allowing uh, mediocre relationships in your life, um, they're dragging you down. If you're allowing mediocre work ethics in your life, they're dragging you down. Um, if you're allowing mediocre faith in your life, um, it's dragging you down. So don't settle for mediocre. Don't settle for good enough. It's either hell yes or hell no, get it out of my life. And uh, I really like that idea. Um, you know, we allow a lot of things in our life that um, just aren't aren't up to speed, aren't up to caliber. Um, We allow things to go on. uh, Should have Mike Claudio in here. Mike Claudio talks about taking the edge off. Uh, Just today, I'm going to have those couple of drinks just to take the edge off. And every time you take that edge off, you get a little bit more dull. You get a little bit more mediocre. You get a little bit more complacent. You get a little more complacent of where you are in life and you stop trying so hard. And you stop pushing so hard and you get into a survival mode. And we're not here to survive. We're here to thrive. So we need to stop allowing mediocre in our lives. And uh, that's something I'm victim up to. I, I think the back of my life and different things that have gone on. And I've accepted mediocre a lot. I've accepted good enough a lot. And uh, it's time that we uh, make an effort not to accept good enough. We either accept hell yes, this is all in, right? Or hell no, get this out of my life. And uh, if it's not up to speed, we either got to get it up to speed or we got to get it out of our life. So I thought that was a great message today. Um, Chronicles of the Modern Beast with Pedro. I was on his podcast uh, a little while back. You go search for that. Um, I'll share a link in the comments. Um, love all these guys. Great, great, great uh, people in my lives. They're hell yes people in my lives. They're not mediocre by any means. And uh, I'm glad to be running with you guys. So appreciate you. All right, so we're going to jump on prayers over here. Look at this sunshine. Good Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. <clears throat> Dear God, help us to not settle. Help us to not settle for mediocre. Help us to not settle for good enough. Help us to strive for excellence every day in everything we do. Help us to have the strength to, uh, to be in control. Help us to have the strength to be intentional. Help us to be have the strength to keep continuing to, growing, to grow, and help us to have the strength to help those around us grow. Um, amen. All right, everyone, so we are riding. We are day 255 today, so that means we got 110 days left of this journey. What are we going to do in 110 days? 
we going to keep going? What are we doing? I don't know. I don't know. Still have to start thinking about, do we keep going? Is there going to be a 366 ride? Or we take a break and start over? I don't know. I'll have to figure that out. Maybe we'll start a jump rope challenge with Michaela. We'll get pictures of me doing jump rope. That could be a sight. So, uh, all right. Today, we got a busy day. I have two home inspections today. Got a home inspection over at my house at 120 Hanson this morning, and then I got a home inspection at 55 Croydon this afternoon. Two Malvern houses, both sold. Uh, <clears throat> inspections going, going to contract. Two more done. I have a ton of buyers. I had over uh, probably three dozen people to uh, my open house Sunday at 55 Croydon. And obviously, only one of them was able to buy the house. So that means there's 29 people, I mean, uh, 35 people uh, in my. Uh, realm right now looking for houses in malvern so if uh, you're thinking of selling give me a call let's get your house sold let's get your house sold for top dollar let's get your house, get your house sold quickly and easily i'll uh, help you through the process and of course if you're looking to buy um i got a dozen agents out there looking for houses all the time on my team the brian lewis team at the xp realty and we're all here to help you um i don't know if you guys realize when we represent you as a buyer's agent we get paid by the seller so there is no cost to you for us to help you find a house, help for you, for no cost to you, for us to help you um, negotiate deals, help you uh, get the home inspection done, help you uh, make sure your financing is order, in order, help you to uh, just make sure everything goes right. You know, we're on your team and it doesn't cost you anything. We get paid out of the proceeds of the sale by the seller's uh, agreement. So uh, why not use uh, me and my team to help you find a home? So that's what's going on today. Uh, I'm going to meet a client tonight. We're going to look at a wholesale property and uh, see if we can make that happen. We got the geese over here tearing it up. Making a lot of noise. All right. Anyway, so we're going to get on with the ride. I got to get back for the home inspection. And I just want to give you guys a message today. Don't settle for mediocre in your lives. It's either hell yes or hell no. That's it. No, no in between. Make sure everything in your life is the right thing and uh, don't settle for good enough. All right, everyone, I appreciate you. Put your head on a pillow every night knowing you made the world a better place. Fire starts fire. Let's go.